are very proud to be presenting the next award. From beer to brunch, mushrooms to mustard, Lily not only writes about food, but strives to discover the truth, grit, and humanity behind it. Her stories are often intriguing and unexpected, bringing into the spotlight the relevant, the bizarre, and the hidden gems, giving credit where credit is definitely due. Lily is never one to turn down a spontaneous invitation or opportunity to explore a new culinary delight. She is the convincing factor in trying the new restaurant on the scene and the one who helps us remember to eat and drink outside the box, even if it's on the opposite side of town. <laughs> part investigative journalist, part charming foodie, her passion is apparent in every word she writes. What's more is that she takes us on a journey. Lily has a truthful, conversational, and personal storytelling aspect that ignites something in all of us. It is with great honor that we are able to present our dear friend, Lily Stoichev, with Writer of the Year. A truly free-spirited, talented force to be reckoned with. <laughs> it also happens to be her birthday today. So, <laughs> happy, happy birthday, birthday and congratulations. congratulations. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't you know what Thanks everyone, that was awesome. Um, and thank you to Annie and Tulula. I admire both of those women so much for everything that they do and I'm honored that they were able to present for me this evening. Um, I'm also so honored to receive this Nexty Award for Best Writer because I write about food culture which is something that is so important to me. Uh, a lot of times when I tell people that I'm a food writer they automatically think that that means that I review restaurants which while that writing is also very valuable, that's not really what really inspires me. Um, what really fascinates me are the stories of people who are fearlessly passionate about enriching their community through food, be it a chef, um, a farmer, a food truck owner, a brewer, uh, or a small business owner. Uh, food is an endlessly inspiring topic because it's something we all share. And as such, it holds the possibility of creating a path to understanding and connection with each other and our environment. It is a source of great controversy and great joy. Our community is brimming with these stories. They're rooted in our agriculture. They're being foraged in our mountains. They're swimming in our oceans and being cooked up in our kitchens. These are the stories we all share. They're the stories of Santa Cruz, and I love telling them. A heartfelt thank you to my friends, family, and the staff at Good Times, where I write predominantly, uh, especially to my publisher, Jeannie Howard, and my editor, Steve Palopoli, whose insight and encouragement have been really formidable in making me the writer that I am today. Uh, and also, thank you to the people whose stories you've allowed me to tell. You are making Santa Cruz more delicious. Thank you. Woo!